Before we move on to the awards, I'd like to invite back onto the stage the 2005 recipient of the Technology Executive of the Year, Mr. Paul Gulick. Uh, Paul served as one of the chairs of the committees and did the awards for us this year. And Paul's going to come up and give us a brief overview of the awards process. Paul? Thank you. Boy, you guys think that was fun. That was really fun. Okay, so thank you very much, Alan. Um, just a quick couple of words about uh, the awards you're about to see uh, handed out and the process that we used in order to generate them. Um, this was a uh, very large collective effort, and the, the, the whole idea behind these awards is really to continue the tradition of celebrating the heroes and the leaders within the technology community that's so vibrant here in Oregon. Each finalist was chosen because of the, uh, a, a strong mix of the following criteria. They had to have very strong company performance in the most recent year. They need to be leaders in their market and their marketplace. They need to have a strong commitment to their employees and to their customers. And they have to have a strong community involvement, uh, a, a sense of place within the, the much broader um, technology and uh, Portland area community. Uh, I'm very proud to say that this was an incredibly difficult year to judge some very, very qualified uh, companies. Um, the categories that we built are around what these companies do. Uh, we have a category for the system or hardware company of the year, a uh, category for the software company of the year, and recognizing that, that uh, uh, in our technology community many times products are offered as services, we now have the technology service company of the year. We also needed to, we felt a, a need to recognize the up and coming heroes in our industry and therefore we have a, a um, category called emerging company of the year. And lastly, as Alan said, you will be judging amongst three very uh, qualified finalists the cool product of the year. Now, each of these uh, categories had their own judging committee. The judging committee, you've seen some of the names come forward. There's a lot of you here. Um, and those judging committees reviewed all of the applicants. There were, there were uh, uh, anywhere from uh, 12 to 25 applicants per award. Uh, those uh, committees uh, narrowed that down to the three finalists you saw, you're going to see here, and the, um, uh, and, uh, the winner. That winning company was then uh, uh, reviewed and approved by the steering panel of the executive, um, the executive steering uh, committee. So um, I want to emphasize that um, we had, uh, e even in these trying times, we had very, very high quality performance, community involvement, uh, and commitment to the customers and the employees from many companies. And, and being one of the three finalists is clearly an accomplishment in and of itself. So uh, I hope you will uh, join in me in congratulating all of the finalists and the uh, subsequent winners for the Technology uh, Awards Program. Thank you.